Hello everybody, Shane1288 here with your RuneScape Bite for Monday, July 20th, 2020. This week in RuneScape, the beach is back and we've got a good chunk of patch notes as well. Starting off, the beach is back from today until August 10th. Head on over to the Lumbridge Crater to take part in your favorite activities, including sandcastle building, beach ball rolling, hook a duck, or the dungeoneering hole, just to name a few. And as with any time the beach appears, there are rewards. Of course, you can unlock the crustacean armor, collar of the sea, and shark bait weapon overrides, beach aprons, and three new surfboards. But let's also not forget about the new selfie emote that surely everybody is going to be going for. And before we move on, let's just say that emotes and cosmetic rewards from previous beach events can now be purchased with oddments. So go enjoy the beach and gain some experience in your favorite skill, or perhaps least favorite skill, and track down that selfie emote, or maybe you just want to be shark bait. But that's the beach for 2020, here until August 10th. Moving on to the patch notes now, a new completionist achievement, Second Wind, has been added for unlocking the Adrenaline Cooldown Refresh from War's Retreat. This achievement gives 30 rune score. Some of the other achievements from War's Retreat have been shifted around and have had various adjustments made to their rune score, but the total amount of rune score obtained from all of these achievements remains the same. Players can no longer drink Adrenaline Renewal Potions while already at 100% Adrenaline. Power Burst Cooldowns will now also have their own unique debuff bar icon. Wearing the Globetrotter shorts while completing a Master Clue with a costume skipping ticket will no longer use up extra skip tickets. Provoke should now work consistently with 10 players or more. Removing items or effects that increase your life points while under the effects of a Vitality Power Burst Potion will no longer set your life points to zero. Life points are now also capped at 32,000. The Transmute Onyx ability has been added to the Divination Skill Guide. You will no longer be able to drink stamina potions while the salt water effect is active. Setting Eugene the Brain as a familiar pet override no longer causes him to stretch when using a special attack. The Pets tab in the Oddman store is now accessible on mobile devices. And finally, Tardiat is now considered a Slayer area for the purpose of co-op Slayer effects. That's it for the Weekly Bite. We'll be back this weekend with another full episode of RSBNB Update right here on this YouTube channel. If you found this video at all useful, like and subscribe, and we'll see you this weekend.